Real estate agents, do you want to learn a strategy that can help you take advantage of one of the fastest growing parts of the buyer market, which is first time home buyers? In this video, I'm going to explain a concept that you need to learn for your buyers. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to explain to you a technique, a strategy that I've used, that Carrie's used, that you should be making your buyers aware of, especially your first time home buyers. All right, I'm talking about house hacking. House hacking is a way to solve the problem that many first time buyers have right now in that their rents are super, super high, but now they're dealing with high prices and high interest rates when they go to buy. So what can a buyer do in this situation? One way is to become a homeowner, have a place to live, live free, and be a landlord all in one fell swoop. And the strategy is called house hacking. Here's what you do. You go buy a place that has two, three, four bedrooms, right? It can be a townhouse, single family, condo, duplex, triplex, quadplex, lots of different ways to do it. You live in one room or one unit and you rent out the other units, all right? That rent is often enough to not only pay down your mortgage, but actually pay you cash flow. So you get the benefits of home ownership. You get to live for free in a lot of cases. And in some cases you even cash flow. This is one of the techniques that Carrie used early in her career. She had a five bedroom townhouse, rented out the uh, four bedrooms and, and made like a thousand bucks on average, you know, over the course of owning that. Plus she lived for free. I started off this way as well back when I was in the Navy. I had a four bedroom house and I rented out two of the rooms and uh, that paid for my mortgage in most months. So uh, I was able to live for free, pay down my mortgage, get appreciation, all of that good stuff. This is perfectly legal. You can you, know, you can do it with almost any type of loan. So you need to learn this strategy and uh, you know, a lot of first time home buyers, this is gonna be a good option for. Now, obviously some people aren't gonna be comfortable with it. Like, you know, a couple with kids might not wanna do it, right? There's, there's, there's different scenarios, but you need to at least learn how the concept works and present it to your buyers as an option to solve their problems. The more tools you have at your disposal, the more people you're gonna help, the more your business is going to grow. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. I'll see you next time.